Welcome back, guys, to another video. So being accountable, um, this is very critical because it's easy to have the victim mindset, blame others, you know, for your situation. Look, I guess it can be true. We can't control the situation in the country, the city that we're born into. But after a while, I think you have to be more and more accountable because I don't think a lot of people realize how much uh, control that they actually have um you know everything their dating life their finances their fitness their health what they eat the people that they hang out with the material information that they consume so this whole notion of being accountable um i always try to hold myself accountable and look i'm human you know we're all human we all sometimes feel like you know this happened to us you know the world's against us or you know we thought we did our best or why isn't it working our way but then if you take a hard look of what you're doing every day and did you actually do the best you can there's actually a lot of improvement for everybody um, you know as example oh I can't find a job or you're not getting many interviews well how many job applications are you doing a day um, what skills in the meantime are you trying to add um, or you're trying to learn, you know, when it comes to dating, you know, stuff I see from a lot of guys, uh, they blame girls, they blame this, they blame that, but they don't look at themselves in the mirror and they don't realize that maybe they need to groom better. They need to dress better. They need to get in the gym. They need to actually live an interesting life, you know, first and foremost for themselves, but then also that's a byproduct of girls actually being interested in you because then you can actually be charismatic. You have cool stories to tell. You're not boring. You're not just talking about how you hate your job. Um, going a step further in terms of the type of life that you're living, maybe you don't really like the situation you're in. You don't like the city or country that you're in. Well, we live in an age, the digital age, where we have numerous opportunities. Um, you know, you see it all the time on the internet. You see me travel around. So I think holding yourself accountable of wishing you want to do that, but then your what's your daily action steps to implement that? Are you actually looking into remote work? Do you have the skills for most of these remote jobs? If you don't, then why don't you go? You know, you might have to spend a couple years or whatever, however long it takes to get that. Um, it's not going to come to you, right? You know, you're not just going to wake up, buy a domain, and then all of a sudden you have an online business that's funding your lifestyle. Um, no, it's crazy. It's going to take time. Um, so I think this whole notion, you have to be accountable. This is what I talk about in my course in terms of like mapping out what you want in life, but then actually how, what are the daily, yearly, monthly action steps it takes to get there. And it's holding yourself accountable. Now, look, there are going to be things that are not in your control. You know, that's life. But you have to have that stoic mindset of only focusing on things that are within your control and doubling and tripling down and then you know let everything else fall into place um because the more you hold yourself accountable the more the less and less victim mindset that you're going to have and actually you're going to feel better about yourself because you know that you know it's a numbers game to a degree that the more that you uh put in and the more that you're working on whatever said thing that's when you'll start to create your own luck instead of just sitting on the couch and waiting for stuff to come to you uh, very rarely does that happen. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, <laughs> you know, they look at athletes or they look at someone who's successful or whatever they call them lucky, but they don't see maybe the years and work of hard work working in the dark when nobody was watching that they put in. Then all of a sudden they're lucky. There's actually a recent um, there's that MJ failure commercial quote. That's very good. Then there's also a recent quote that Leon Leonon Messi said that of all the work that he did for 16, 17 years straight, and then now people are calling him uh, overnight success. So being accountable, it's going to make you a better person. It's going to make you create good habits. And I'm not saying that all of a sudden your life's going to transform, but you're setting the foundation of how to approach life because, you know, life's always going to, there's always going to be curveballs. There's always going to be problems, but it's how you approach them. It's how you handle them. It's how you solve them. And it's how you overcome them. And I hope this whole notion of being accountable. I used to have the victim mindset, not like a horrible victim mindset, but yeah, I did have the victim mindset in the past. But now, more than ever, you know, it's a good, uh, I think, mindset to have is that anything bad that happens to me um, or any bad situation that I get into, I blame myself first, saying that how did I get, I put myself in this situation. How can I prevent in the future? What are the signs that I missed? 
I always blame myself first. Yeah, of course, there's things that I'm not in control of. Um, but this whole notion that if I blame myself first, meaning that I hold myself accountable first and foremost before I blame somebody, somebody else, that makes me a better person. I can use this experience to help better myself for the next time I, if I face another similar situation and how to avoid it. So hold yourself more accountable and you'll start to see that these good habits that you can implement and have for the rest of your life, then you can approach life in a more rational and better sense in terms of knowing how to achieve something, overcome something instead of waiting for stuff to come to you, because guess what? It's not going to happen. So guys with that, um, if you're interested, book a call with me. Um, if you have any other questions, um, as always, please like subscribe, especially if you found the video of some value. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.